the girl a runnin' in our group. She had a high-speedin' motor in a 44 coupe. She had a racing cam and a supercharge. Look out, buddy, hot rod and large. She's a hot rod. She's a hot rod. AM 1420, 95.1 FM, WIMS, Talk of the South Shore. Big George, how many years have you been on the air with us now at uh, Gerard Media, WIMS, WHFB? We're over a year, right? Oh, it's over two. Whoa! How time flies when you're having fun. Holy cow, my friend. This was my second Christmas party, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Which one was better, the first one or the second one? We had fun at oh, both. I, you know what? The, the food is so good, I can't tell you. Sweet Lou's, that's who. Big, big Lou just fattens me up. I'm telling you, she's <laughs> she's good for she's good for two two notches in the belt. Okay, so I'm gonna oh. th- I'm gonna throw this out there. Sweet Lou's off of uh, four twenty one and two, and uh, a wonderful place to cater and all that fun stuff. So if you're in that area, coming out of Westville, Laporte, that whole corridor off the toll road, your PNW students right there. And if you're a student, show your ID, and she gives you I think ten percent off. It's actually Wear really your cool. stretch waist pants, yes. too. She's got good... Okay, so my engine light goes on. You're going to love this one. And I know Glenn's listening from LaPorte Chrysler right now because he does every morning at this time on his way to LaPorte Chrysler. Hi, Matt. So my engine light goes on yesterday as I start my truck up. I know you're grinning ear to ear on this one. So I'm like, I'm like, you son of a gun. I said something else, though. I really said, I go, you son. No. Yeah, I did. I was like... Not you. Yes. <laughs> And so I'm in the car, and it's kind of getting a little rough at 514,400 miles in my truck. And who's the first person I think of? Big George. But since it was about 2.20 in the morning, I figured I wasn't going to call you because you'd say, you son of a gun, little Ricky Federici. Don't be like Tim and call me so early, right? No, I'm just kidding. Well, it wouldn't have been bad if you got me, but if you got she who will be obeyed, you would not Whoa. have been happy. <laughs> and the cat. What's your cat's name, by the way? Carl. What oh, a you cute guy, don't cat. wake up, Carl. Oh, my gosh. Carl is so cute. I was freaking out. The other day, I was over by Georgia's studio, and I'm looking at it, and this cat, which, really cool cat, but, man, I was I was freaking out because I thought he was going to jump on me and kill me like he was protecting Big George. Seriously. Well, he thought you were related. You got the same color hair. Hello. <laughs> I love your studio in person. It's really nice. You like, know what? It works out good for me. But I'm going to do some rearranging here soon, though. I know you some are. Some of the stuff we talked about, I'm going to implement. It's going to work out really nice. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. As Tim moves on, um, and he's been he's been with you for like about 10 years, right? Or something yeah. crazy? Holy cow. And we've been together 10 years. He is but, getting... hey, you know, there's family situation. He's got a baby now. Got to have that. Got to have insurance. Got to have the real deal. Stuff. Hey, listen, I'm with you. On the radio budget, he needs the insurance and he needs real money. Let's be honest oh, here. Yeah. Radio's fun, but it doesn't pay the bills. I mean, for most people, right? Oh, uh, no. Not, 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 no, not at all. All right, so my engine light goes on, dude ball. And guess what? I bring it over to LaPorte Chrysler yesterday because I'm still under that warranty. So guess what? So last time you predicted cylinder five, guess what cylinder's gone this time? I'm afraid to ask. Cylinder four. Cylinder four. Right next door. You said you predicted it. I can't. Believe, I couldn't stop laughing. I said to my brothers and Norma, I go, oh, my gosh, George predicted this a couple weeks ago. He said when one goes, the next one goes. And literally, when I called them and I brought it in, they're like, oh, uh, that's what they did. Oh. Uh. Dominoes, the domino effect. So oh, I, my God. Uh, I told Matt to send me over prices of some of the new. They got some really good 18s on the lot. But, I mean, I, I'm on a really tight budget. But there's some great trucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jeeps are wonderful. But uh, I'm going to have Matt send me over some other Jeeps because the one he sent me was gorgeous, but a little out of Ricky, Federici's price range. Just a little I'll bit. i tell you what. I went to the car show, and I saw some stickers. Let me just tell you. I'm, like, blown away. <laughs> the 2019s I, are worse. Well, let me throw this out there to you. Back in the late 80s, mid to late 80s, Norm and I paid for our first townhome, Hold Yourself, and this was a cool townhome on, like, near water, like, literally right out our door. You know, the whole assessment, the clubhouse, pool, workout rooms, everything. Garage, it was a what they call the penthouse unit, so there's four units. So the two corners, we were a corner, were penthouse units. We bought this thing, kids, you're ready for this? For fifty two thousand dollars, trucks today are over fifty thousand. I know it's two thousand nineteen. I know that was like 
almost 40 years ago, but come on. Holy well, you know, cow. Since, since you're going to be looking for a new car, I got an idea for price. You're talking prices. Okay. I just saw, I just did a story, and I'm going to do it th- tomorrow night, okay. tomorrow afternoon, on Lamborghini. Oh, yeah. Lamborghini is making an SUV now. Yeah, but it it's got just a- like a Jeep, and yeah. it goes 195 miles an hour. Okay, so that's awesome, but. My Maserati does 185. I lost my license. Now I don't drive. Thank you, Joe Walsh Eagles. Uh, so talk to me about that because this is only 200 grand. Okay, I'm here 200 grand. Jackie has 200 grand. She's shaking her head in the newsroom. She's got it in her pocket. She does. Check her purse. Turn her purse upside down. The girl never never puts out her money. Hold She's on. Got a lot of money in there. Woo! <laughs> oh my God. Shake that purse upside down. Holy Find out what's cow. in there. That is crazy. Two hundred thousand dollars for a for a grocery getter. All right. So all I'm going to say to <laughs> but you it is, is a Lamborghini. It is a Lamborghini. I'm going to give you that, and I'm I'm excited that people. But I'm blown away. The America wonders why we cannot afford. It. You were the guy that told me about those fake Jeeps. Those that other company was making Jeeps. I oh, know. Yeah, I see those all over the place. From India, Mahindra. Yeah, I see the, them everywhere. I just know they're pieces of crap. Allegedly, oh, I well, guess what? They sure are. They're half the price of a real Jeep. Uh-huh. That's they're but, like dirt cheap. Yeah, but they also last about a quarter yeah, of the time. They don't last. Yeah, they, they last like like uh, not like dirt. Dirt lasts forever. Matt Magnuson like said to me. Matt said to me yesterday, Big George. He goes, dude, you got your money out of your Jeep. I'm like, absolutely, but you know they have a great service department there, and you know, but I also have you. Thank God. That helps me out. And anything it's not, that, a, it's, it's not a problem to keep you on the road. I want to see you make it back and forth to Schomburg. Yeah, well me too. I just get freaked out that it's just it's just crazy. And when it when your truck becomes it's when it's sucking out the money, you know what I mean? When it's just sucking when it's not under warranty, George fixes it. When it's under warranty, George instructs me to go to Laporte Chrysler where, you know, they take care of me. And so I got the best of both worlds, Big George on one side. You you know this is and this is the crazy thing. I do you see more and more people buying used or gently driven, pre-driven than you do buying new George? What's your thought on that? Well, there I've got a story on that this week too that the prices the interest rates and so forth have raised un- unbelievably on new car products really? while they're holding their own on the used car products. Mm-hmm. This is why they're like they've gone up 17 percent on new cars where they've only gone up seven on used cars more people are going to be buying used cars they're going to be much more affordable this next year well plus we have a just a load of them yeah. coming off of what they call lease to lease cars yep with 30 35 and 36 seven thousand miles on them which is the right play, right time to buy a used car right in that mileage well me to you i agree and i also know that if you're buying new as soon as you pull that bad boy off the lot, you're losing money. And I'm not trying to be uniqua because we got a lot of great partners, but I'm going to go for that. Like, for example, if I was looking right now, which I am, I'm looking at 2017's 18s because you could actually get 18s that still have no miles, but they're, they they want to get rid of them. You know what well, I mean? Absolutely. And a lot of times you'll get those at the zero, zero interest rate. Right. That's it, how I bought my edge, zero, zero. When a guy told me you could have a, have a, a brand new 16 or you could have a... Uh, a 15 that's not um, not been sold, but the 15 is zero zero. I said, I'll take it. You know what? I couldn't believe it when I was in your truck literally less than a week ago. I can't believe how pristine it is. Well, it's you, but it literally, I said to George, I was like, holy cow. First question was, do you smoke in here? And he's like, absolutely not. And then I'm like, it literally was pristine, clean, but on top of that, it smelled brand new and it's a 2015. What do you have on that mileage wise? Uh, I don't know, like 15000 Oh, my gosh. I do that in a month. Well, I only go. You saw how far I go to work. I go a block and a half. When I, when George, and I took you the long way trying to confuse you. <laughs> listen, when George took me to his studio the other day, I, I was like, oh, my gosh. This is Rick Federici's swing. I could not believe you were that close to your crew, your wife, your little cat, Carl. You have your world within a block. Literally, absolutely. I in the summertime, my car sits in the garage almost 
four days a week because I ride my, my electric scooter back and forth to work. Which, by the way, I got the pleasure of seeing his uh, brand new one, and that thing is bad butt, man. It's Boy, cool. does that baby fly Woo! 20 miles an hour. Like it's, <laughs> But you laugh, but it's 20 miles an hour. It's like you've got the freak flag on the back, the American flag, the big George stickers, you know, the, the magnetic things. I'm like, dude, you rock. Everybody's like, beep, beep, George, I love you. Oh, I get that all the time. Throw there. Sometimes they throw tomatoes at me too. Yeah. Though, you know. But you know what? Yeah, you, you got your detractors in this world. I love it. I got to tell you, I'm so excited. So, in upcoming weeks, George will be over here at WIMS as he redoes his studios. You know, he's kind of redoing it, and I think that's really cool. Uh, Tim will be stepping aside after a decade. We should have like a party. We should have a birthday cake or a cake on the air for him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Have a little dinosaur pop out of the cake. You know what we could do? He's probably listening right now, freaking out. We could, we should get a cake, and you should say, Tim, we got this for you, and have Sandy in there, Carl, have the crew in there, and then <laughs> smash it in his face. Wouldn't that <laughs> like be cool? A, like the baby's first birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I love it. Imagine Destiny. He'd get, a, he'd get a charge out of that. I'm looking forward to coming out there. Yeah, it'll be cool. You do, you do keep my brand of beer in the fridge, right? Whatever you want, young man. Okay. Uh, Jackie okay. Beisel smiling. She's like, uh-uh. She just shook her head. No alcohol in the WMS studio. So oh, you could my. Have... I, bet she, I bet you don't have a cigar humidor either. No. No smoking. Wow. Although, no let me... cigars and no beer. How am I going to do a show? Listen, let me ask you a question. Do you inhale? I'm an old car, I'm an old car guy, Rick. Yeah. That's yeah. what we live on, cigars and beer. Do you uh, inhale or no? No, God. Okay, I just want to make sure. That's awful. No, I just, I just puff them, and I don't I don't use them that often, just every once in a while. No. Do, uh, My I, dad I was... had that habit for years. He loved it. Yeah. Well, you know what? If it makes you happy, Big George, you just do what you want to do, Ma. Well, it makes, me, it, it makes me smooth. Smooth. It takes the edge off. Wow. Everybody, it's Big George, and I'm Not smooth. that I have an edge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're like the Ken doll. Someone just says, I love Big George's show. How can I contact him? 928 Car Guys. 928 Car Guys. Just to let you know. Call All me right. anytime. All right. And by the way, that's actually really cool. I want to throw this out there to you. So we'll we'll talk about that. So the next few weeks, Big Tim, I call him Big Tim. Tim Saldana, uh, Big George show uh, from the Lansing Studios. After that, we roll into the next month. We're going to go th- over here for a few weeks. You think Alex can handle you? Because, I mean, Tim knows how to reel you in. I think Alex is going to freak out when you're here in studio. Well, I'll straighten him out. I mean, yeah. How old is he? Uh, is he old enough to take out to the tavern afterwards? I'll take him out for a couple of beers abso- and a cigar. He'll straighten out. Absolutely in his, uh, I'll just say in his 20s. Because I, somebody, I don't know exactly. Somebody, somebody tell his mama he's about to get corrupt. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to corrupt him. Mary's <laughs> listening right now. His mother is Mary. Mother Mary, sing to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Everything's got to... for me to corrupt that boy. He's, yeah. You know, type. I think he could show you a thing or two. Remember, he's a crazy kid from Ball State, and he graduated. Oh, Ball State, I know that school. Yeah. Crazy. So, oh, I spent a week there one night. Uh-oh. Ooh. Woo! Yeah, uh, baby. So you're going to be doing your show, obviously, Wednesdays, 5 p.m. WIMS, 6 p.m. WHFB, and then the same goes with the flow for uh, Saturdays, your encore presentation, 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Respectfully, IMS HFB. Uh, Jeff and Julie are back this weekend. They were out for a couple weeks, just chillaxing, and they're going to be back this weekend, so it'll be nice to see them. The Coho Classic Group will be in at 8.30 Central, so that'll be very, very cool. So we'll hear a little bit more about that. Plus, you'll be in. So recalls, some of the new things going on, sticker shock, uh, your new and latest article for the April Region Rides. Good morning to Mark. I love you. Hi, Mark. And uh, should be a fun show, huh? Oh, it's going to be great. You know what? You guys in Michigan are really, really, really taking – you're getting all the benefits from the new boom yeah. in that uh, car business. Ford, General Motors are all building new plants. They're going to build their SUVs, their autonomous vehicles there. Ford's going to make 900 new jobs alone in the next two months. I want you to make sure that you recap on that for our WHFB family and say it on the air. Oh, yeah. I've got it here. I've, I'm going to talk about it Wednesday. It's going to be cool. All right, my friend. Have a wonderful day. Always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for uh, taking me into your studio. Thanks for fixing my truck. You were right again. Cylinder number four. Cylinder number four. I know that Glenn and the whole crew, Scott, and all the guys are listening over at LaPorte Chrysler right now. We love them to pieces. And we'll see what the warranty brings us. Because Matt couldn't stop laughing yesterday. 
He's like, let's see what they say. Because I'm now at the point with 500 and some odd miles, 514, that they might say it's too much to fix, and I'm not going to be happy. Uh, I don't blame you, but you know what? That's a lot of miles. That, could, that Jeep should be in a museum somewhere. Someone should be giving me a Jeep, just so you know. <laughs> really, yes. Uh, I would think that FCA Chrysler should give you a Jeep for the advertising value. Yeah, look at it. Just to show about. off that one. Yeah. Yeah. You tell him, George. World, world famous Rick Federici got 514,000 yeah. miles out of his Jeep. Thank How you. you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Thank you, George. <laughs> All right, buddy. See you soon. Bye. Bye. AM 1420, 95, 1 FM, WIMS, Michigan City, a Gerard Media Company, streaming live at WIMSradio.com.